Let's talk about uh, Lil Baby real quick. He was in Vancouver. He, he's supposed to have a show in Vancouver at the Breakout Festival. Okay. And 30 minutes prior to him going on, I guess he, you know, pulled out of the show. And they tore this place up. I'm talking about championship riot type stuff after the Cubs won type stuff. You can turn it over. You know, you know, y'all know how I get in certain sport towns, sports towns when somebody wins something. Mm-hmm. Um... Now, these people were going crazy, man. They they tore this festival down because Lil Baby didn't show. Now, why, I don't know. It just says uh, the rapper set was pulled just 30 minutes before the end of the breakout festival in Vancouver, and that's pretty much it. So something happened with fam. I'm not sure what it was. Hopefully it's nothing, you know, in terms of them being ill or whatever. But, bro, they tore this place up. Are these fans that did that, are they OC? What's OC mean? Uh, Out of control. Yeah. But they, yeah, they're, yeah, they're too- paying patrons. They expected to see a show. I feel like sometimes as fans, we get entitled and we don't necessarily ne- necessarily deal with real life things that happens as it relates to shows. Somebody can get sick. Somebody can have a family emergency. Things can happen, right? But these people were clearly like, nah, we're not going. We're going to destroy this whole festival because he did not show and we're paying patrons. What do you think about that? Because I know fans can get entitled sometimes, but this isn't a good look. I don't even think it was covered like I think it should be because if this was here... I see a lot of thugs and hoodlums and all this type of stuff on the news, but I don't know how they, they recorded or reported it in Vancouver. But uh, what do you think about the fans, man? This To me, this is not a good look. Like, you really on some entitled, obnoxious type stuff with this vibe. Look, last time the Vancouver Canucks lost in uh, the Stanley Cup, yeah, you know they tore that they, that thing up too. So Vancouver oh, okay, is just okay. known for tearing up stuff. I did not know that. Yeah, I, um, I stand. I stand edu- I'm educated on that. Uh, you know what? I mean. Anytime you see a sh- uh, go to a show and there's a whole bunch of people on the bill, I, I just assume somebody not gonna make it, mm. or like there might be a situation where especially festivals, yeah, okay. they could be over time. There's a whole bunch of union things that are involved. Right. Somebody, you know, and sometimes people do not, I, you know, even if it's on a smaller scale, you know, I remember there was um this is way back in the day when Fabulous he came to St. Louis and the uh, promoter didn't have his money. So oh. fabulous didn't go on as he should and not the have. people were I'm upset but you know i mean it was one is somebody you know didn't they didn't know the the mathematics of how uh it is like because you know usually it's somebody gets a deposit and then you know they're paid uh before they get on stage and he yeah. didn't have the he didn't have the money to get him on stage so he didn't get on stage he took his deposit and that was it i'm not mad at that you know and there are a lot of times people just gotta understand it's like it's not don't be mad at the venue or the people who work there be mad at the promoter or the people who organize these sort of things and do not take certain um, things into account when it's time to get somebody on stage. I'm like, Lil Baby is a big star. And if you do not have whatever it is that you're supposed to have for him, don't expect him to get on stage just to, you know, just to, to, to save face for you. I'm not mad at that. Well, yeah, if, that, if that's the case, then. So I'm here. I'm looking at the uh, Twitter thread of okay. the, uh, the breakout festival. And uh, they posted something that says, Lil Baby arrived to Breakout Festival and was unfortunately too sick to perform. We know you were looking forward to seeing him, but these cir- circumstances are beyond our control. Please contact us for information on a partial refund. But if you scroll down, people are like, this wasn't even the original show by the <coughs> end of it. Two headliners and multiple artists didn't show. And somebody actually has, a, has a, an image here. Um, I wish it was on that computer. I'd throw it up there of the actual artists that were actually didn't show up from mm-hmm. the original. And it's like little Uzi Vert's crossed off. So Fago, I think it's hard to tell. It's crossed out. Little baby Polo G brother, Ray, baby face oh. Ray didn't make baby it. Face Ray, okay. So this is deeper so, than little baby. So it looks like multiple people that it, so my, like- my guess is that people bought these tickets maybe as early when they saw all these names and then right. the names kept getting crossed off. So it's probably not related to just simply little baby. People are probably upset at the fact that they paid, looks like uh 300 and what this person say? $380 for a ticket. That's a lot of money for a ticket, man. And, and yeah, you yeah see I, half I want my $380 of- back and one, two, three, four, five people didn't show up. And it looks like three of them are the main I wish I'd have saw that ones. in the article. Okay. That, so, that, that's more context. Okay. Good looking out long. Yeah, you know. So that, saying they were sick, it was probably just a cover for the fact that they didn't have their money. Could have been. Like you, you get to cross the well. neighbors, you know, because so, sometimes as somebody who's been a part of like throwing shows and events, a lot of people are not prepared to take that L. Not for and sure. the thing is, you got to have the money to take, you know, if you thought you were going to sell 500 tickets, sold 150 that's not the artist's problem 
you know, yep. sa- and <laughs> you know, the fact that you don't, you thought you were going to sell this many tickets and you didn't, they still are required. You are still required to make sure you pay them what you owe them. Right. And I, what it looks like from here, and like when I see all these names crossed off, you know, it's kind of like when in the fire festival, you know, yeah. all those people oh, yeah. were supposed to show up and then deposits weren't. weren't That's Ja Rule, uh, right? That's the one. I, I mean, mean, yeah, if you're going to put it on Ja Rule, you know. Well, I mean, he, he was he one of the he biggest names. Jail, you know, yeah, talk yeah. about the white dude who went to jail. Oh, oh sorry. Both, okay. Yeah, well, it's both of them. Yeah. be real. Uh, yeah, um, it's part of the promotional. So they probably said, okay, we got enough money for Quavo and Takeoff because I see their names on here. We got enough money for Corday. Coyle Ray. And Coyle Ray. Quest, Went out and did his one song. Yeah, and Lil Baby's probably got the and uh, yeah, Lil Baby probably the person that cost the most. And it was like, yeah, yeah, we can we'll pay these other three artists and not pay Lil Baby. Yeah, and we won't tell them, and we'll just say he was sick. Yeah, that's super possible. And this is all speculation, by the way. But it's like what that's you, not what that's not, hard. not yeah, it's not hard to believe that. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you on that. Mm. Uh, the like I said, the one shout out to Lone because the one that I saw didn't have the I guess it's like a separate. Uh, yeah, like this is a report Twitter or whatever feed, as yeah. it relates to it. I didn't see that part, but that does give it more context. Yeah, but they tore if y'all if y'all actually go look at the videos though. They, oh, it looks like Migos canceled too. They tore that much. Oh, oh, they did as well. Hold on, let's see. Vancouver was not happy about Migos's last minute cancellation at Breakout Festival, so they oh, canceled. So didn't man. nobody perform. So Breakout pay- was supposed to be Vancouver's first ever outdoor festival. For reasons beyond our current control, Migos didn't make it to Vancouver tonight. 20 minutes before their set time, they announced that. For Migos, we love Vancouver. We really wanted to make it to Breakout Festival tonight. We hope to continue to support this festival. We'll make it up soon to y'all. That sounds like we didn't get but paid. Is, but it doesn't help mm-hmm. that the fact that fans dished out $129 for a single day pass and mostly to see Migos. <laughs> and Migos aren't together anymore, are they? I have well, no idea. Well, I mean, uh, when I see, like, Offset and Take... Take off are doing the Wu Tang joint, right? And that right, right. Mm-hmm. they doing the joint. So I don't know what's going on with them, but that right there has a underlying vibe of we might have had some issues with that bread. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean if nobody's shown up, I mean that's a lot of acts when you, as it relates to that, especially to the ticket price. That's a lot of people not to show up. I I'd be frustrated too, but man, they. Bro, Look, if you watch the video, they was wild. I'm, I'm just going to say this. Anybody who might be listening and they want to, you know, they say when they get into event planning or throwing concerts Man, or whatever, I, uh, A, don't. No, I'm nah. just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I had this conversation on Friday night. Uh, I literally was like, man, special props to all y'all that are interested in this stuff and can do this because I just. Still throwing events and stuff like that. Can't do it. Yeah. Being a lead person in, in that. Is no, as you can see, you can see it on Lone's it face. Stressful. It's extremely stu- stressful. No. But I, I'll just and also say it like this: say, and this is just I'm just throwing a number out here, just just so we can advance the conversation. Uh, say it's going to cost five thousand dollars, which is a very low end on Cheap. any sort. You need to have that five thousand dollars. Yeah. You, you can't be hoping you sell enough tickets to make it to, to that make 5, to five thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah. Because say you get to 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 thirty five hundred. Yeah. You don't have but four hundred and fifty dollars in the bank. Something's you know, and depending on who you're working with, you know, some there might be some violence involved. So you Not got to sure. get it right. Yeah. You got to get it right. I would say, I, I would like I said, I would say, unless you have all the money, like unless you had, I don't know. Like I said, I I, I didn't hear about Breakout Festival until you know pre-show and we were talking about this, but it just sounds like to me that they didn't have the money to pay all of these artists up front. Right. Yeah. And they were hoping we'll sell enough tickets and we'll get enough sponsorships and sell enough, you know, sprites and cokes or whatever. And we can we get, get these a, guys covered. Sell enough parking passes and VIP. Yeah. <clears throat> that we can, you know, we'll be. We might be scrambling. Like some of these people, they probably gave them the last bit of money they owed them right before they're supposed to get on stage. And the the higher profile artists there are, the more money you got to give them before they get on stage. And like, yep. Some of them, they, they didn't have that kind of money. It's unfortunate, but it happens. And it's really nobody's fault except for the company that took the risk and failed. Yeah. 